Member for West Vancouver Capilano. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, we learned a woman was randomly attacked in James Bay, almost directly behind this legislature, when a man pushed her into the corner of a building face first, cutting her face and giving her head injuries. Now, despite denials by the Attorney General, random assaults in our communities have increased dramatically. When will the Attorney General end his catch and release and get prolific offenders off of our streets? Attorney General. Uh, thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker. Um, my uh, sincere uh, sympathy and empathy to the victim of this uh, horrible random assault. Um, I imagine she and her family are going through quite a difficult time and the broader community in the feelings of safety and security. The Minister for Public Safety and I take this issue very seriously, despite what the member suggested in her question. It's not correct. We take it very seriously. I've been on my feet saying that for a couple weeks now. I look forward to making an announcement this afternoon with the Minister for Public Safety and mayors of our province about how we're going to wrap our hands around this issue and address it, because that's what our government does. When we see a problem, we move to solve it. Member for West Vancouver Capilano, supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Nobody has confidence in this attorney in whatever he will announce, given his terrible track record for five years and his past statements. In 2011, he said, quote, we have serious concerns with the results of the prolific offender program and are continuing to events investigate aggressive policing tactics, end quote. So will the Attorney General end his catch and release system and take action to protect British Columbians so they can feel safe in their communities? Attorney General. Well, thank you, uh, Honourable Chair. I think the police themselves will tell you uh, when it comes to issues of mental health and addiction and wherever those issues overlap with behaviors that are criminal in nature, that police need more than just the criminal justice system. We need mental health and addiction supports. Uh, and for some people, those need to be compulsory because they will not take up the voluntary supports we offer. And so police have been, uh, we've been meeting with them. We've been going over these issues with the, in relation to uh, random stranger attacks as well as prolific uh, property crime. Uh, the member says in her question uh, that she doesn't uh, appreciate my track record on these issues. I'll point out two similar issues that came to my attention. One was the financial crisis at ICBC. We now have the best insurance rates and the best benefits in Canada following my work, take, carried on by the Minister of Public Safety. The second, we had widespread and rampant money laundering in our casinos, took on that issue. We no longer have that problem. So just like that, Honourable Speaker, we've identified this issue, we'll address this issue, and I assure members of the public who have been victims of crime, we take this very seriously.